Hey guys, I'm Sean, and since I own a motorcycle dealership, I'm always trying to figure out who my next competition's gonna be. I never expected it was gonna be Amazon. So I bought the cheapest street legal motorcycle from Amazon Prime. It was 1400 bucks, and within a week, a big giant truck showed up at my door and dropped this thing off. Let's see what's inside. So we did actually open this thing up just to see, just to see if this was indeed a motorcycle. And it looked something similar to a motorcycle. Honestly, it's been a couple, like, it's been a month since we ordered. I forget what we ordered. I remember when I ordered it, uh, right away they, they contacted me and they said, we don't have that color in this current shipment. Do you want another color? So I originally wanted green. It's a new motorcycle, I guess. It's a cable ties. Get plastic off. So just like a normal Amazon thing that you buy, I mean, they, they did everything. They, they did the shipping. They did, they figured that all out. There's a guy showed up with a forklift to my door. I'm remembering now that there was a decent amount of installation required for this bike. How do we get it out of this box? So the actual bike is connected with these, these metal tires from the tires and then the fork up here, they got the, um, the triple clamp attached to here. And these are actually the, these are the bolts that you need to keep the, keep the handlebars on. So handy tool number one, power drill. You think you might've made a mistake, Josh? <laughs> Maybe you never should have bought that Honda Rebel. You could have got a slightly more expensive, slightly newer, Slightly smaller displacement. Hawk motorcycle. I'm not sure how you gonna do this without two people unless unless you're just gonna lay it on its side. Yeah, that's uh probably from the wheel, right? Yeah. So just gonna open up first couple glimpses, first couple things I'm seeing. It's got a billet aluminum gas cap. And the edges are kind of sharp. But that's that's kind of cool. I don't know why I don't know why plastic would be cheaper, but I don't know why it has to be billet aluminum though. Maybe for it to be street legal, it's gotta be a I feel like that's pl that's plastic. Eh, I don't know, it's met it's it's kind of metal. So maybe for it to be street legal, it's gotta be a metal uh, gas cap. Second thing, it's a hawk motor. You guys know Hawk? They make the, um, those birds. Also, it must have got rubbed from being inside that box somehow, and it kind of rubbed uh, the black finish off, which I'm a little disappointed. I had really high expectations for my $1,400 Hawk uh, straight legal Amazon motorcycle. Let's see who make these, makes these tires. One zing. One zing. So while I was putting this thing together, I'm kind of wondering like, why there no, there's no washers here? Why there's no, why, why there's no washer here? And, and I was missing a couple bolts. <laughs> Just from what I was putting together, I was like, there's, a, there's probably about three or four bolts I'm missing. And then I found this bag. And now I think uh, I might be missing a few more washers and bolts. It also came with a nice little toolkit. And to be honest, it would take you a little longer but you could probably put this whole bike together with just these tools. This thing was purchased specifically as a on-road motorcycle, but it says off-road use only. I'm just gonna take that, take the sticker off and. There we go. Now it's an on-road motorcycle. Now while I put this thing together, you're probably wondering how the title situation worked out. And I was also wondering the same thing. And I got the bike a couple days after ordering it. And then a couple days later, I get a strange envelope in the mail where I get a bill of sale. So this, this is what I need to actually register the bike. And then I get an MCL. 
And this is what I'll use. It tells me all the information about the bike. It tells me the VIN number. Year is 2019. Make is RPS. One cylinder. 303 pounds. And apparently it is 14.1 horsepower. So I would take this to uh, my DMV. Oh, it's even signed. I'll take this to my DMV and get the bike registered. Let's go back and keep on working on it. All right, so other than the battery charging up, um, I think I'm kind of done. I just gotta figure out where these, well, the stickers, I just gotta figure out exactly how they go. So the bike is done. It's all put together. The whole thing took around four, four and a half hours and I did need a hand. You probably could get it done by yourself. A little motorcycle jack that you get for 50 bucks at Harbor Freight would be helpful. So you probably would have assumed the same thing that I would have assumed, that this thing would have came with a instruction manual to put it together. Well, you'd be wrong. It does not. It just wants you to figure it all out. The nice thing about it is, they gave you some extra parts. A lot of extra parts. So, so many extra parts. I'm a little concerned that some of these things, I didn't do it right, actually. I mean, there's a lot of washers in here. I don't, there's, 30 extra washers that's probably needed somewhere not sure what that is a little toolkit who needs turn signal lights for some reason probably because this thing's made in China they gave me those little uh, you know this is that, that little toy where like the magnet ball kind of rolls on here and just... but they gave me two of them uh, not really sure why now I know this spring has some actual functional purpose I cannot figure out where it is um, I have a, there's another spring that goes on the, uh, on the brake. I, I don't really know. But to be honest with you, all in all, I'm actually pretty impressed with the bike. Other than a few minor little things, it's actually a, a decent bike. It's got this cool little canister right here to put your toolkit. It's got a little helmet lock. Most of the features feel pretty, feel pretty high quality. Nothing really feels that cheap about it. The one thing I don't like, it's kind of a goofy looking shift lever setup where it's got this big long cylinder in here. And I wonder if you'd be able to replace that with another, you know, most shift levers on dirt bikes are pretty interchangeable. I'm not sure if you'd be able to replace that with another one. Another thing, you know, you just notice a little, you know, little clearance issues, this kind of wobbles. Um, I do wonder if that spring's supposed to go somewhere on here, but I'm not sure where. I could probably just put a washer back in there. Let's put gas in it and let's see if it fire, fires up. Out of the box, it's a pretty, a pretty cool motorcycle. It, it feels pretty decent. I mean, it's not crazy powerful. What is it, a 250? Yeah. So it's like the 250L? Yeah, probably not even that much power. Uh, what a lot of people say you could do is that you can um, you can re-gear them for a little better on the highway. I didn't get it past 30 miles an hour. But then also you can get it re-jetted to make more power. I think the idle needs to be turned up a little bit, but actually it runs pretty awesome. But you know what? Let's uh, let's see what this bike can really do. So even though the Hawk 250 is a street legal motorcycle, the tires are much more equipped for off-road. So we decided to take this bike to Treverton, PA, and test this thing out on some of the baddest coal hills in the state. All right, so now we're here. We're somewhere in the uh, Shemokin, Treverton area. You can see this is all 
giant coal hills. This is the prover ground. Let's see whether this bike is worth 1400 bucks. Let's go try it out. I had it on choke when I first started doing it. It wasn't warmed up yet. It's actually not that bad. Um, there is one kind of a learning curve to get used to using so little power. This is 14 horsepower. It's claimed 14 horsepower. I mean, it's probably less. The dirt bike I'm used to riding is the CRF uh, 250X, which, which is 30 horsepower, so double the horsepower. So what normally I could do in third gear, no problem on my other bike, I gotta be on second gear. I gotta be at the top end of second gear. So I'm still trying to get used to that. Let's go find a big hill climb, see if we can do it. Now I'll tell you what, it'd be real easy for someone to be like, oh man, this is not a, that's not one of the big main four, M one of the four dirt bike companies, forget you KTM, and be like, it's not a real dirt bike. Well, I've dropped it, I've injured myself, I broke stuff, I've gone up hills, I've gotten dirty. You know what? <laughs> Mom, I'm dirt bike riding. I'm pretty impressed with what you can get when it comes to a dirt bike. I mean, this is fast enough to hurt myself and I'm not even that good. And then the opportunities that get opened up to you with only 1400 bucks is crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah. All right. All right, here's a little motorcycle. Here's a little dirt bike course. If you're wondering, can it handle some baby whoops? The answer is maybe. And remember, I'm not really a dirt bike rider. I mean, I ain't no, uh, I ain't no Jared Decker or nothing like that. Come on, big fella. Top of the world, Ma. Top of the world. Holy cow. How am I gonna get down? Yikes. So for 1400 bucks, I'll admit, I was pretty surprised. The bike was fun, and for the price of a new Honda CRF 250R, you could buy five and a half of these things. What's a half one gonna catch you? I really don't know. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's made in China, and it's cheap, so it's not gonna last long. Well, this is where things get pretty interesting, because on Amazon, when I bought this, for $137.89, I purchased <laughs> a three-year unlimited part and labor including all mechanical and electrical parts with zero deductible and no hidden fees. They will fix it, replace it, or refund you the money for this thing for the next three years. That's pretty incredible. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, see what else we have in store for this bike and more, and hit the notification buttons. And there's one last hill I think this thing can climb. Let's go see if it can. No way I'm gonna get it. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, we got this, we got it, we got this. No, no. Oh no. Oh shoot. Oh man, I think I just twisted my ankle.
Harrison!